Hey, what is up you guys? My name is Vivian from the Paper Letter Blog. Today I'm doing a voiceover of a pastel colored envelope flip book. So I probably sound like I'm speaking through a can. I'm really sorry. Uh, this is the first and maybe even the only time that I'm doing a voiceover because I don't really know if it is my style, if it is um, if it even works out for me, you see, I already lose my train of thought now and I just started like 10 seconds ago. But the reason why I'm doing this, um, the reason why I'm doing this voiceover is because when I filmed this, I mentioned this so many times, I feel like you're getting sick of me already, but I had my wisdom teeth removed and then instead of healing properly, I got an infection in my jaw. So it hurt so much and I couldn't really speak and I hated listening to my own voice because it sounded like I had a hamster cheek, which I had. Uh, so I decided just to start uh, crafting and just to feel myself while crafting and then I would try this little voice over. I don't know how I feel about this. I'm going to try and talk you through what I do. As you can see, I already picked out the paper. I made these tiny envelopes. I want to do a tutorial on how I make these a little bit later, but... Uh, yeah, can I do that now? And I, then I uh, put them together. I just uh, glued the flaps of the envelopes to the back of the envelope that is coming next to that. And I, I keep folding it up in between because this is actually the first time that I'm doing an envelope flip book. So I don't know if uh, it will fit. <laughs> Okay, so I picked some flowers from my mom's garden a couple months ago and I love using them in snail mail. So I just have these dried flowers on this card and I put them on there with some washi tape and then I wrote a quote on the back which says there are flowers everywhere for those who want to see them. And if you've ever watched one of my paper gang boxes, you know that I love that tissue paper. I love reusing it. I love... I'm playing around with it, so I use that to wrap up this flower card carefully and then I put some tape on the back, which doesn't look great, but uh, it's on the back anyway. <laughs> and then I put it in one of the envelopes. The random noises you hear are my cat who's playing again. But anyway, this is a swap that I did for Swapbot and I read her profile and it said that she loves tea. So I decided to uh, put some of my favorite teas in there. And then the card I made uh, on the green paper, I just wrote a little quote. It's like a hug in a mug, but I didn't want to put in a quote. I wanted to write down the information about the teas for her because they're in Dutch. So I thought I'd translate. <laughs> Like I said, this is actually my first time doing an envelope flip book and as you can see, I'm already overstuffing these pockets. <laughs> um, next thing I'm going to do is, the this is one of my favorite washi tapes, the purple one with the golden bows and her profile uh, states that she loves girly things so I thought I'd make her some samples and put them in there as well. I always love stuffing uh, my mail with goodies, so I gave her some of my favorite stickers. And when I look back on this, I look at the stickers and I think, oh, why did I give those away? <laughs> They're actually some of my favorites, but I really hope that she will like them as well. I check my Swapbot profile every day, but she hasn't received it yet, so I will have to wait for her rating. This is my first time putting a pencil into a swap where I thought it looked so cute and matched everything so well that I thought I'd add it. And then also sticky notes. Who doesn't love sticky notes? So I stuffed another pocket with sticky notes. And these are actually die cuts from the Tea Lightful collection that I made myself. I just used the cut files from acdigitals.com. So it's totally legal. It just takes a lot of work. And then when I overstuffed all these pockets, I start working on the envelope, which I actually really, really liked. I took another piece of paper and I trimmed that to do to be just slightly smaller than the envelope itself. And I took a scrap of paper that I used for making the tiny envelopes and I layered that over the top. And I really love this combination. Usually I leave the address label and the stamps for the last moment, but I wanted to do that a little bit earlier now because usually I, I leave myself no space. And then I took these magazine clip outs of pretty flowers and I, I tried to see what I like most. I ended up liking the roses most. I really like that clip out and it matches the envelope so well. 
and then I just put the purple ones on the back. Then I figured that the washi tape looked too dull, so I took this piece of ribbon, with a sticky ribbon, I don't know how you call that, and I put that on the front, and then I started decorating the back of the envelope flip book. As you can see, I try numerous things. Um, this one, I usually like this decorating, but this one was actually quite hard, because the background already has such a clear design. So I used doilies, washi type, I used some more of that sticky ribbon and I didn't really like the way it looked so I changed some things again, used some die cuts, some stickers. Back when I didn't have any supplies I would make my own little embellishments from paper so these tiny envelopes are actually left over from my very first snail mails and I filled it with a little message and then I put some of that beautiful paper in there and I really loved the way it turned out. Then I started using some of that foam tape. I really love using these on embellishments just to elevate them slightly. And you cannot really see it on video, but it really gives a cool effect to that high five die cut. Oh, you might have noticed already, but those circle stickers and the paper are from the same shop. So they're uh, kind of the same collection, if you will. So that's why I use more of them, because I, I mean, they match perfectly. I don't know, it might have been the painkillers I was on, but as you can see, I was really struggling. Like, I wasn't sure what I wanted to do, I didn't know how to decorate anymore, my brain was failing me. But I found out that if you just try stuff and move things around, you can really achieve great things. <laughs> I love wrapping up swaps pretty, at least I think they're pretty. So I wrapped this little envelope clipbook up with some ribbon. And what I also like to do is include a little letter or a note just to introduce myself and just to tell them a little bit about myself. And here, obviously, I'm not writing the entire letter on camera because that will just take way too long. I did that after I finished filming. And then I had the decorated envelope, the little letter, the finished flip book and the pencil. And I closed that envelope and I sent it off to Chili. So I cannot wait to hear what she thinks. I cannot wait to hear what you guys think. Uh, please let me know how you feel about this voiceover thingy i know that it's more quickly but i i just i just don't think it's for me um but i hope that you will subscribe to my channel to see some regular videos where i just chat to the camera and um yeah i hope to see you again soon bye bye